99% of failures, come from people, who make excuses. Avoid, against the deceptions, of pretended patriotism. Determination, and spirit, have done wonders, in all ages. A sensible woman can never be happy, with a fool. Human happiness, and moral duty, are inseparably connected. Encourage each other, and show the whole world that a freeman, contending for liberty on his own ground, is superior to any slavish mercenary on earth. Happiness, depends more, upon a person's own mind. The harder the conflict, the greater the success. Worry is the interest, paid by those who borrow. If we want to avoid insult, we must be able to remove it. One of the most powerful instruments, of our increasing prosperity, must be the knowledge, that we are always ready for war. The turning points of lives, are not the great moments. The real crises are often hidden in occurrences, so trivial in appearance, that they pass unobserved. I believe, that book knowledge is the foundation, on which other knowledge is built. My mother, was the most beautiful woman, I ever saw. I attribute my success in life, to the moral, intellectual, and physical education, I received from her. A free people, ought not only to be armed, but disciplined, to which end a uniform, and well-digested plan is requisite, and their safety and interest require, that they should promote such manufactories, as tend to render them independent, of others for essential, particularly military supplies. If, the freedom of speech is taken away, then we will become, dumb and silent, like sheep. But least some unlucky event, should happen unfavorable to my reputation. I beg it may be remembered by every gentleman, in the room, that I declare with the utmost sincerity, I do not think myself, equal to the command, I am honored with. Work hard, to keep alive in your chest, that little spark of heaven fire, called, conscience. It is better to be alone, than, in bad company. Associate yourself, with men of good quality, if you respect your own reputation. Because it's better to be alone, than, in bad company. In politics, as in philosophy, my principles are few and simple. The leading one of which, and indeed, that which embraces most others, is to be honest and just ourselves and to exact it from others, meddling, as little as possible, in their affairs, where our own are not involved. If this maxim was generally adopted, wars would cease, and our swords, would soon be converted into reap hooks and our harvests be more peaceful, abundant, and happy. A free people, ought not only to be armed, but disciplined, to which end a uniform, and well-digested plan is requisite, and their safety and interest require, that they should promote such manufactories, as tend to render them independent, of others for essential, particularly military, but least some unlucky event, should happen unfavorable to my reputation. I beg it may be remembered by every gentleman, in the room, that I declare with the utmost sincerity, I do not think myself, equal to the command, I am honored with. It is better to offer no excuse, than a bad one. There is nothing, which can better deserve our support, than the promotion, of science and literature. Knowledge, is in every country, the surest basis of public happiness. A primary object, should be the education, 
of our youth, in the science of government. In a republic, what species of knowledge, can be equally important? And what duty more pressing than communicating it, to those, who are to be the future guardians of the liberties, of the country? Be courteous to all, but intimate with few, and let those few be well tried before you give them your confidence. True friendship, is a plant of slow growth, and must undergo, and withstand the shocks of adversity, before it is entitled to appellation. I hope, I shall possess firmness, and virtue, enough to maintain, what I consider the most enviable of all titles, the character of an honest man. For more videos, click the subscribe button.